Hello and hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now this time, I'm gonna be uh, reacting to Microphone, which is another NFL channel, which does like these like documentary type videos on like current news going on in the NFL and even does like documentaries on like players, like um, historic players and teams. And I've actually reacted to this guy before a long time ago. So I've been knowing about this guy for a really long time, even well before I reacted to him. I've been know I've been watching this channel and it makes a lot of interesting videos that I really, really enjoy. So um, I'm gonna be seeing this one. The Chicago Bears are trading Justin Fields soon. I've been hearing some news about Justin Fields, like um, probably getting traded to a new team. He unfollowed the Bears on Instagram. I think he even explained why he did, but I didn't listen to why because I was too lazy. And it just seemed like it's more than likely going to happen. The Bears are going to trade him. They're going to draft Caleb Williams in the first in, in the with the first overall pick in the draft. I don't really know. I mean, these are just rumors. These are just like things that are, look like that are going to happen. I mean, you never know. It could probably never happen, but it's leaning towards it going. It's leaning towards it happening soon. So. We'll just see what's going to be said in this video. So with that being said, if you haven't seen this video yet, and um, if you like this reaction and you want me to do more videos uh, from microphone, then be sure to let me know and I'll definitely do so. And I'll definitely do more of this. So yeah, but with that being said, if you haven't yet seen the video for yourself, then be sure to go uh, see it. The links to the originals in the description. So with that being said, let's get into this. Justin Fields Instagram account and searched his following came up empty. Hey. And came up empty with Bears, too. Kyle Pitts, nice. Drake London, and Bijan Robinson follows them. The offseason's officially here, which means we're about to get some answers to some very serious questions. Where's Kirk Cousins going to go? Where's Russell Wilson going to go? And most importantly, probably my favorite storyline of the offseason, is what are the Chicago Bears going to do about their quarterback situation next year? Well, it seems like they've officially made a decision, or at least that's what they're putting out to the media. So before we get to the content, make sure you drop like, subscribe, and turn on our notifications. Make sure you're up to date on all the latest NFL news during the offseason. Now let me get all that out of the way. Work, work. This guy like drops a video like every day. I don't really say drop. <laughs> this guy uploads like a video every day, so it's not like I'm gonna get to all of them. But I'll get to the ones that interest me the most. My Super Bowl picks that I made in my content with the Patrick Mahomes free square didn't hit, but the one that I posted onto my story did hit. And you guys let me know how much money you made in my DMs. And now that the NFL season's over, we're officially directing our attention to the NBA. Is this a sp uh, okay? Shut the fuck up. I normally don't react to sponsored parts, so I normally just skip those. So. Mike Chuck 1212. What's going on, everybody? At this point, you guys know how the Chicago Bears got into this incredible situation by trading the number one overall pick in the 2023 NFL draft to the Carolina Panthers in return for the ninth overall pick that year, a second round pick that year, a first round pick this year, a second round pick in 2025, and DJ Moore. That first round pick in 2024 turned out to be the number one overall pick in the NFL draft. The reason why this is such a unique situation is the Chicago Bears already had a quarterback that they felt very confident in. I mean, DJ Moore himself said that none of the incoming quarterbacks in this year's NFL draft are better than Justin Fields is. Yeah, what, last week? Somebody asked me that last week. I'm still like, bro, where are y'all seeing this? Like, what, what makes him not the quarterback for the Chicago Bears right now? I get I got everybody coming out. I mean, me personally, I feel him. like he's slowly going in the right direction. Slowly, if you worry. Chicago Bears fans all love Justin Fields. We want Fields. We want fields. 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 We want and Fields. Ryan Fields himself has said that it's a very difficult decision that he needs to make. And how you said that you're going to look at all the options as it pertains to the number one pick. Are you, can you say definitively, is number one pick for the right price for sale? Uh, again, I'll, I'm wide open to anything. So if someone wants to call me with an idea, that's fine. I'm, I'm open to it. Regardless, Justin Fields seems to be very realistic about the situation he's in. You know what I did do it. Um, I gave him my all, so um, whether it's here or not, you know, uh, I have no regrets. Um, shout out to, you know, you guys for 
So if everyone wants him, then why does the team want to trade him? Yeah, uh, just to the city of Chicago, love y'all. Appreciate the fans and the support from all the Bears, you know, in case this is my last rodeo with y'all, and mm. just appreciate y'all for everything. So, Damn. Now, over the past couple of weeks, there were a lot of decisions that were made that would make an individual think that the Chicago Bears are leaning one way or another, or other teams are willing to be very aggressive to get to the number one overall pick. For instance, Cliff Kingsbury originally decided to become the offensive coordinator of the Las Vegas Raiders. He then decided to pivot and become the offensive coordinator wow. of the Washington Commanders. Caleb Williams is from Washington, and Caleb Williams worked with Cliff Kingsbury last year at USC. Oh, wow. Even congratulated Cliff Kingsbury the moment he got the offensive coordinator job. So maybe oh, the yeah. Washington Commanders are trying to swing a big trade to hop maybe. from number two to number one to select Caleb Williams. But it's like whenever you see like all these like hints that you're going to get a certain player, it's just like, oh my, like you get that adrenaline rush being like, oh my God, is that actually going to happen? Because this player has some connections with these players. This player has some connections with this coach. They have, they've lived in this area. All this, all that, you know, all these like things that are like connecting up with each other that seem like it's it, like they're, that that team is actually going to go with that player, like that adrenaline rush you get. Mm. The problem is, how do you quantify the draft capital that is necessary to hop from number two to number one overall? Because at the end of the day, if the Chicago Bears want to trade the number one overall pick, they're planning on getting a historic haul in return. A haul that would allow them to build around Justin Fields for many years to come. The options they could at do this that. point are very simple. You either keep Justin Fields and trade the number one overall pick to another team and get a return that is very close to what you got last year. Maybe you get three first round picks or maybe you get two first round picks and another pro bowl caliber player or you maybe could possibly you possibly do that Pat and you can get some more justin weapons for justin fields, fields to, to make him better need of a quarterback and at this point reporters just love asking teams in the nfl what should the chicago bears do i mean it got this response from cj stroud the Rams. i don't know who is the first pick bears. the bears have the first think pick they're gonna keep justin they should if they're smart but you know it's the Bears. <laughs> it's the Bears. So things have Dang. hit a tipping point for the Chicago you try Bears. To avoid now, that answer. I want to give you guys a disclaimer here. It is the off season. It's also smokescreen season. A lot of times you'll see reports get leaked out to the media just to stir the pot a little bit, just to incite a team to make a yeah, move. You, it happens so this every, could be true every and it season. could come from a legitimate source, but it could all just be a dance to yield a different result. So according to Albert Breer, the Chicago Bears have received trade interest regarding quarterback Justin Fields. Uh, duh, of course they have. But Breer mentions that Chicago staffers got inquiries from opposing teams at the Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. Although the Bears haven't been shopping fields, the front office used the discussions to gauge the 24-year-old's trade value. With Chicago owning the number one pick in the 2024 NFL Draft and several impressive quarterback prospects available, general manager Ryan Poles could move fields, who was the number 11 pick in 2021. Although he's played behind an offensive line that struggled with pass protection, throughout his career, Fields has remained inconsistent in his first three years in the league. With 13 starts during his 2023 campaign, he completed 61.4% of his passes for 2,562 yards and 16 touchdowns against nine That's interceptions. Not terrible, he also rushed but for 657 yards, although it represented a step down from the 1,143 yards that he racked up on the ground in 2022. However, he's still shown flashes of his former Ohio State yeah, self and could he be shows some flashes. Is it being a great a player? Team, that's in need of some quarterback help. Rear revealed that the Bears will meet over the next couple of weeks to finalize their quarterback plans and are expected to make a decision once the I don't watch every single Bears game, so I can't like confirm 100% if he's like good or bad or mediocre. A decision regarding its future under center. I just see some clips of him and people talk about him. Interested in a fresh start. Guys, the scouting combine makes people do some crazy things. And typically, if you are going to trade within the top three of the NFL draft, you typically make that trade after watching these prospects perform at the scouting combine or on draft day. Typically, such a trade goes down during the scouting combine. For instance, the Washington Commanders traded to the number two overall pick in the 2012 NFL draft to select RG3 back in March 9th, 2012, very shortly after the scouting combine. And of course, the Carolina Panthers made such a trade on March 10th, 2023. So we're going to get a decision within the next 10 days or so. Yeah, probably. So in the meantime,
time, what looks like it. Bears leaning in, and what I'm is just expecting a big I trade haul. Fields value really depends on the team that is interested in trading for him. I think in this particular instance, if you're looking, all right, come on. There yeah, yeah, something, something's gonna go crazy within the next few days or next couple of weeks. The Pittsburgh Steelers, I think the Steelers would be willing to give up their first round pick, which is the number 20 pick in the NFL draft for a player like Fields. Um, but I think mean, if you're looking at a team like the Minnesota Vikings, it'll probably if be Justin like Fields a goes to another team, I would probably want him to either the go to the Raiders or Falcons. To return to balance things out. At the end of the day, it's important to remember, for the Chicago Bears, there's not really a clear-cut wrong decision. I mean, I mean, in the moment, no matter what decision you make is going to be perceived as a good decision. You either decided to sell high on Caleb Williams' hype and net a bunch of first round picks in return, continue building around Justin Fields. If Justin Fields proves to not be the guy, then you could try getting a quarterback in future drafts, or you decide to start all over, draft Caleb Williams with the number one overall pick, maybe get Joe Alt or Ali Fashanu at the offensive tackle position, or draft one of the many incredible wide receivers in this year's NFL draft in the form of Malik Neighbors or Roma Dunze to give Caleb Williams some additional help. You'll have a brand new quarterback on an undervalued contract for the next five years, which will kick your Super Bowl window wide open. But the question is, are the Chicago Bears ready to compete now? I think this team still has a lot of holes personally, but at the end of the day, yeah. I don't think they can make a wrong decision here. It really just depends on Ryan Poles' perception of the team. Mm. But at this point, you kind of get an idea of the direction direction Justin Fields feels like this is going in because as a result of everything Justin Fields doesn't follow the Chicago Bears anymore Ooh, on Instagram yeah that now, happened things are really starting to get heavy once a player stops following his team yeah. on Instagram but I would also or like to remind post. you that the past couple of players that pulled off this stunt remained with their existing teams I mean Ow. Debo Samuel a couple of off seasons ago did it same with Kyler Murray Jesus. it seems like every single time a player unfollows the team it usually means that he ends up back with the team but if justin uh, fields does get traded i would be a little frustrated if i'm dj moore i mean dj moore is one of the most talented wide receivers in the nfl he's just never had stable quarterback play and he finally gets traded to the chicago bears and has a career high in receptions receiving yards and touchdowns and now it looks like damn. the chicago bears are about to trade justin fields sure. so what are the teams that could potentially make a move for justin fields well in the past we brought up that the pittsburgh steelers could potentially be interested. We know that Pittsburgh's going to go out and get some type of quarterback. Like I said, uh, I, don't, I probably Russell want the Falcons or Raiders to go out here. Justin Fields, Justin Fields if Mike he does Collins get traded. Fan of Justin Fields. We'll keep that in mind during the offseason. But at the same time, the Pittsburgh Steelers could easily take a flyer on a player like Russell Wilson as well. Probably. The Atlanta Falcons are a great destination. They're a young, up-and-coming team mm -hmm. with incredible talent at running back, wide receiver, and tight end. The New England Patriots are another option. The Washington Commanders are a potential option. The reason why Justin Fields would be attractive in this particular instance is you don't need to give up a first round pick or a high first round pick to get him and you'll also have him on your roster for a year before really needing to make a decision on whether or not you should pay him a large contract. So at the end of the day, my personal prediction at this point is it looks like Justin Fields is about to get traded really soon. Mm. But at the same time, this could be a smoke screen and I've been wrong before. Historically whenever there's a player that's dubbed as the next great once in a generation type quarterback prospect and a team has the opportunity to take him usually that team will end up taking him some people buy so much into the hype and at the end of the day it doesn't even come down to what the general manager or coach of the team wants it comes down to what ownership wants and if you really think of this from a marketing perspective a jersey sales perspective just in terms of a team's ability to generate a significant amount of hype for their franchise at the end of the day there will be significantly more excitement and hype if the chicago bears drafted caleb williams as opposed to trading that number one overall pick netting a bunch of first round picks and building around justin fields even though the second option sounds a little safer in my opinion let me know in the comment section down below is justin fields about to get traded and if so where is he going to get traded to aside from that i'm your boy mike i'm dropping our mic until our next upload i mean like as it's looking right now, it could be a huge possibility he could get traded. It's looking like it. Just from like what the media is saying, what what is being said in the Bears organization. It kind of looks like it's 
it, it kind of looks like it's leaning towards that. But like I, but like you said, he could be totally wrong, and Justin Fields could come back to the Bears and make it seem like none of this even happened. Me personally, I don't know what the fuck I think would go on. I mean, as it's looking right now, it looks like they are going to want to trade him. But honestly, like, I mean, like, I don't know how well his stats are compared to 2022 and 23. But I feel like Justin Fields is sort of going in the right direction just for what I've seen. Um, I just feel like he just needs like some more like um, offensive weapons so what to where it can help him be better. So like honestly, like that first that first overall pick, you can probably just use that to get multiple first round picks or use it to get like a, a veteran to help out on the offense. Possibly that's probably just my intake, but as it's looking right now, it's more likely he's gonna get traded to another team. He said that it could be the Steelers, Falcons, Commanders. I heard the Raiders were in the conversation as well at one point. I don't really know. It kind of seems like he is going to get traded. So we'll see what goes on within the next couple of weeks. Uh, if he does get traded or if he doesn't get traded, we'll just have to see for ourselves. Well, only Todd could tell us. So, yeah. But with that being said, if you enjoyed this, be sure to give this video a like. If you haven't yet subscribed, then be sure to do so right now and turn on notifications to be notified for any video that I upload. And if this is a video that is similar to this that you want me to react to, then put it in the comments of this video. So, with that being said, I'll catch you guys later in the next one, whenever I start doing that. So, hope you guys enjoy. I'll catch you guys later. So, take care.